Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Joe Manier here. And in this video, it is video number one of a five part series about branding. Now, if you're going to be building an app, you need to know a little bit about branding. And my goal in this series is to give you the tools you need, the confidence that you need to get something out there that meets the, this video is being recorded in 2021, and that meets like 2021 standards because it's not enough to just put a, an app out there these days. It really does need to look good. And so we're trying to combine the idea of uh, riding the momentum of getting something out quick in this, uh, you know, with our no code tools here, uh, which is, you know, if you're new to this to this video, um, this is what it's all about. This is this is app development with no code tools. And but we're diverting from that topic because branding, you know, goes right along with this. So this is actually going to be a 10 video series, even though we have a five part series. Why is that? Because I want to, I'm going to pick out in this first one, I'm going to uh, go to like a business naming generator and pick out one, but I'm also going to do that again. Why is that? Because, and then, and then I'm going to build a logo for each of those, some, some font selection for each of those, create a style guide, because ultimately this is what you need in bubble uh, for, for your app to match uh, or, you know, have good branding. So, um, why am I going to do it twice? Well, you know, they say with learning, sometimes it takes seven times of exposure to something before it's like, boom, you have it locked in. So in some sense, I am doing a little disservice, sorry, um, only doing it twice and not seven times, but I will say that is a step ahead or a step, uh, above what some other videos you might find out there that, that are just showing you a one-off. What I really want is, um, for you to get confidence out of, uh, choosing your the name of your brand, uh, a logo, some font selections, creating that style guide, creating an app icon. And these are, you know, let's get excited because we're putting it all together uh, when we get there for part five for app icons. And like, we're doing some real cool stuff here, everyone. So let's dive in to this first video about branding and naming. So branding, just some random stuff. If, if uh, you're really unfamiliar with the topic, right? But we all experience these things it's like this intangible um, sense that you get about a company. It is not just their visuals. It is also like their values and principles, what the people who uh, have this brand stand behind. Uh, and but a large part of the brand and what you need to be concerned about is like a visual identity. Um, this visual identity I have. Let's actually here is a good uh, site for showing off a visual identity. Um, called Skillshare. These folks, here's, here's what I mean by visual identity. See this green uh, thing, <laughs> graphic design element bursting through the background, these purple underlined things, this purple dot, these green buttons, purple dot, more green background things, and you know, a purple button, right? So it's like this green and purple uh, and, and the fonts and uh, basically all of this stuff makes up, you know, we look here, this Skillshare, the logo has this green in it. All this stuff makes up the visual identity of, of these folks over at Skillshare. So we want to uh, take that idea with us as we build our app. So visual identity will turn into a style guide. What is a style guide? Well, it's something in bubble. Uh, well, beyond bubble, it's something like this. Here is a style guide. It talks about, you know, how logos are used, maybe some spacing around the logos, uh, different colors. And yeah, so so in this example for these folks, they've got their fonts defined and then they've got the various weights of those fonts. Now, if we went to that website, we could see this in action. So let's, let's do that. These fonts, Proxima Nova. Yeah, so here we're looking at those fonts being utilized and that's what what these folks have going. So that will eventually get translated into um, a bubble style guide or style sheet. So let's jump uh, over to a business naming generator. Um, one of these ones I think is good. Ah, uh, no, what I want is a business idea generator. Because we want to, what I want to do, we're going to get two of these. And then we're going to generate the name from like what, what it will be. 
So we'll do two of these. Um, how about dog dog training business? So that, that's that's pretty fun. Um, dog training business, and then what's something else that's beauty? Okay, let's go crafts and handmade. And let's go teaching and coaching. I think that might be more uh, useful here. Teaching and coaching, uh, highly scalable. Um, how about a so many fun options? Um, a professional meditation business. Okay, so these are going to be, this is what we'll do. We will create for our 10 parts or five part series, we'll do a naming for in this video for the dog training business and a meditation business. And um, I have something that will help us get started with naming. Okay. Uh, I've just kind of thrown some ideas here, like what are actions uh, or some questions. Training is the action. Learning is the action. We're just getting some, we're doing a naming exercise. So we're seeing uh, what are raw materials, dogs, humans, what are results, uh, happy pet owners, that's raw materials, pets. Uh, what are the visuals, um, healthy dogs, big dogs. Um, happy dogs, learning, trading, uh, results, obedience, uh, what else? Um, what else is just associated with, with dogs or dog training? We're just trying to get ideas and um, let's type dogs, go over to powerthesaurus.com or .org, and we're going to type in dogs and see what comes up. Hounds. So one thing I like to do when you're naming stuff is to keep it to one syllable. Um, mutts, probably not that. Uh, puppies, pups. Uh, let's see. So let's uh, let's go with name ideas. We'll just start writing down, jotting down words. Pups. Um, hounds. Let's look at puppies. Cubs, dogs, puppy, whelps, babies. Little dog, canine, phytos. That's kind of, even though it's two syllables, it's a fun little word. Brings up some good imagery of a little dog, little doggies. Um, school, small, wimps, animals. Okay, that's kind of getting away from it. Pups, we, we put dogs as final thing. So other stuff, we talked about training, uh, learning. Let's type that in. Education, schooling, coaching. Um, so what, what this business is, it would be dog training, so like a coach for a dog. Um, trainer, tutor, coach, drill, dog drills. Uh, a huge fan of that. Tutor, train. Prime. Um, let's see, we're looking at coach. Fido coach, dog coaches, pup. Um, how about pup pals? Uh, that's pretty good. What 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 is this in a pal? Buddy chum mate bro friend. Chum, do we have any C's? No, P 
Pup Pals, Fido's Dogs, Partner, uh, Bud, Dog Buds, Dog Drill Buds. I think we're going to go with Pup Pals for this, and then we're going to check GoDaddy. So I happen to be not in the US for this video. Let's get it back into English. Okay. Pup Pals. And if you leave off the thing, okay, so puppals.co is available. So this is a great starting point for this app. Right, so if, if if someone out there had a had a app that would connect dog owners with dog coaches, Pup Pals could be the name. And they go like Pup Pals, Pup and pa Pups and Pals, uh, Pup Pals Training, Inc. or something like that. It's like the business name, and then you know Pup Pals could be the app name, something something like that. But basically, all right, we've got one. So. Now I'm going to all that good. Any ideas? Back this stuff out, and let's do this again for the meditation one. So what are actions? Sitting, uh, mind, brain, in, in waves, uh, relaxation, un unwinding, perhaps. Uh, it's kind of like like releasing steam steam releasing you know, like the, any stressful thoughts. Oops. Uh, what are results? Uh, relaxed. Uh, what are visuals? Oops. Perhaps, uh, Eastern. Uh, is it Eastern Asia, Eastern Western, whatever. Just that that idea of uh, I think monks is fine. Um, Dalai Lama, perhaps. Uh, results. What other results? Uh, clar clarity. That's a great word. Clarity about things is awesome. <laughs> um, all right, let's start here. So we've got the dog one down. How to start a professional meditation business provides practice. All right, I like that word. Let's go with practice because that actually what that's what this would be. This is totally, it's like a repetitive practice, right? So practice, habit, drill, train. Uh, it's kind of like training, brain train. What that for name ideas? Brain train. Uh, brain waves, releasing, unwinding. Let's go with that. Doesn't that sound lovely? Coil, relax, decompress. That's a great word. Ease up. Uh, but I want to. I want something that has to do with probably like habit or or training. Unwind, unbend, loosen, chill. That's a great word. Chill. Oh, how about this? Uh, brain chills. Isn't that a thing when you eat too much ice cream or or? Uh, brain chills. Let's call. Let's go that. Let's go brain chills. Uh, we don't want that one. How about let's figure out brainchill.co, which is good enough. Brainchill.io. Those are those are plenty plenty good enough. All right, so we got brain chill and brain train. Maybe somebody who likes brain train better, you could go with it and just see if that, it's kind of cool, it rhymes. Shake and bake rhymes, they're both verbs. Uh, there is a brain train.io. So I actually like that better because it's more clear. Brain chill is more fancy. The brain train is more clear. I think it's gotta be brain trainer. No brain, no brainer trainer. 
Uh, what, what about mind train? Oh yeah, some other stuff I suppose is things like mindfulness, mind coach. mindcoach.co that's still within the reasonable amount of money actually i think we're going to go with mindcoach on this one that is uh that's super clear what it is i think because coach that's what it's doing the uh, is you know their coach helps people along the mind is what is you know we all know exactly what that is so so i think mindcoach.co would be the move here or mindcoach.io yeah that's even a better price I'd probably go with that io is getting pretty popular um you could you know if, if you are looking at yours and seeing it taken you go mindcoach app and then look look what's available or the mindcoach app that's probably as far away from the original that you want to go but that'll get you that'll get you out there that'll get you started so Cool. Mindcoach.io is where we're going. And then what then what did we have here? Puppals.co. Puppals.io available. I think I like the IO. It's a little bit more expensive, but it looks techy and we're doing app stuff. So here we go. We have successfully on the naming for these two um, new businesses. And in the next video, we'll learn how to get a logo started. So see you all in the next one.